Okay, let's go ahead and divide this expression here using synthetic division. Now we can use synthetic division because there's no coefficient of x here in the denominator and we're just subtracting a constant. Here's another thing too for you. If you prefer to divide using long division, just do it that way because synthetic division really is just a shortcut uh, in order to divide expressions like this. Now if you have a teacher that demands that you use synthetic division, that's fine. You can go ahead and use it, but you may want to check your answer just using long division if that's what you're more comfortable with. So to divide using synthetic division, let's go ahead and take a look then at all the coefficients of the numerator, starting with our leading coefficient, which is 3, and then moving on. So there are the coefficients listed in order. We've got 3, negative 5, negative 21, 17, and a positive 25. The next thing we're going to do is figure out the value that we're dividing by. Now, when we look at the denominator, the number that goes here is the number that is being subtracted from x. So it should be in the form x minus c. And the value of c is just what we put in here. Now, since this is an x minus 3, c in this case is actually just 3. And from here, we're just going to draw a line down here, and this will give us our new coefficient. So the first number is just going to drop and be 3. The next thing we're going to want to do is to multiply this coefficient 3 by our c value 3, which is 9. And that goes right underneath our next number, which is negative 5. Now that's a positive 9, so we're going to add it, which would give us... 4. Then I take this 4 and multiply it by the 3, which would give me a positive 12. So a negative 21 plus 12 is a negative 9. A negative 9 times 3, which is our c value again, is a negative 27. And that's a positive 17 minus 27 is negative 10. Finally, we have negative 10 times 3, which is a negative 30, which gives us a negative 5. So from here, all of these numbers are coefficients. But since we started out with an x to the power of 4, all we're going to do is drop each of these one power. So instead of the leading uh, or the highest degree being 4, we're just going to drop it 1 to make it an x cubed. That's a positive 4. Now it's the next uh, lowest degree, which is x squared, minus 9. That would be x to the power of 1. Some of your teachers don't want to see that one, so you have to determine if you want to show that. And then minus, that would be 10 times x to the power of 0, but that's just 1. So we have that minus 5, though, and that's where things get a little sticky for some people. That's a remainder. We're going to subtract that from 5 over our denominator, which was x minus 3. And this right here is the final expression for this divided expression. So uh, after dividing, we would get this.